So let's take a look at how you can get wireless data from a potentiometer onto the Arduino Cloud dashboard. Um, when it comes to home automation or IoT projects, um, you often need more than just a digital input. Um, like on and off is definitely useful, uh, but uh, analog data from say a dimmer switch or a motor controller uh, is often needed. So to help you get started with those kinds of projects, uh, here's a quick look at how you can acquire wireless data from a potentiometer onto your Arduino Cloud dashboard. Okay, well, let's take a look over here on the screen. We've already set up a Maker Wi-Fi 1010 as a thing, and we've added a variable to that, which is an integer number. Uh, we called it pot, you see here. And it's read only because we don't need to send data back to the pot, that's not how they work. So then if we take a look in the sketch, the first thing we've added here is constant integer, and then we're telling it that the pot pin is A1. Okay, so let's take a look here at the uh, Maker 1010. We've added, we've connected ground and five volts to either side of the pot, and then the center pin is going to A1 on the Maker 1010, which is one of the analog inputs, since that's the kind of data you can expect to get from a pot. So going back to the screen, the only other thing we've added is down here at the bottom where we're telling it that the pot, uh, we're telling it to read analog information from the pot on pot pin, which is A1. Okay, so let's take a look at that in action. If we go to a dashboard, there's various different widgets available in Arduino Cloud that could uh, visualize this data for us, but we'll go with a gauge. So we'll link the variable pot to this gauge, and I'm gonna change the maximum value to a thousand because that's about right for this value of pot. You may need to go up or down depending on what value potentiometer you're using. I'll show you again up here. If we turn the pot, you can see the gauge is going up and down. And there it is. Super simple. That's a really, really easy way to get um, data from your potentiometer wirelessly. This board is not connected to the computer. It's on Wi-Fi. Uh, and that gives you a really simple way to control, let's say, dimmer lights or uh, motor. Thanks very much. Give it a try.